County, meantime, releases its guidelines for safely celebrating Halloween this year. Because it's almost Halloween now. Christina Denzial joining us now with what is and what isn't allowed. Christina? Well, that's right. So the county is not outlawing traditional trick-or-treating, but they did say it is not recommended this year. So as of now, here's what the county says is not allowed. You can't have in-person gatherings with people who do not live with you. They say it doesn't matter if this is done outside because it will be hard to social distance. The county also does not recommend door-to-door -door trick or treating or leaving bowls of candy out for people to grab. Haunted houses are also frowned upon because of the amount of people in a confined space. The county does offer some safer alternatives, including drive through events or pumpkin patches. If you still want to hand out candy, you are encouraged to set out individual goodie bags so children can just grab them without contact and from a safe distance. If you or your family do participate in Halloween activities, you are still asked to follow basic health measures, such as frequently washing your hands and staying six feet away from others. So it looks like, Sholly, we can still get dressed up, but it might just be with our family members at home. I'm okay with that. All right, Christina, thank you.